Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking Channel. We're going to do something really fun today. We're going to do what you call a Mexican chocolate loaf. And in the chocolate part, it's got a pinch of cayenne pepper, which will really zip it up. And for your dough, you can make your favorite basic sweet dough. And you can use your mother's, your grandmother's, or make up your own. Anyway, I've gone ahead and done that ahead of time today. And we're going to go ahead and get this rolled out. And you want it in about a 18 inch long, 10 inches wide roll here. You want to have plenty of flour. It just helps make it better to roll it out. We hope you like this video today. Please subscribe. We would appreciate any comments. We love comments, whether we're doing good Anything else you'd like us to make for you. It is kind of a trick to do this, but if you've done a lot of bread making, you've got it down pat. And after we put the chocolate filling on, which in this chocolate filling, it has cocoa, your unsweetened cocoa. It's got butter. It's got um, chopped almonds and cinnamon. And of course, I told you about that pinch of cayenne pepper. Okay, that looks about right. And on this far edge over here, you want to leave it about an inch from the edge for rolling it. You just spread this evenly. Wow, is this going to be wonderful. Like I said, this it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in cooking is perfect, in my world anyway. It all tastes the same and it's wonderful. Okay, and then roll this as tight as you can because it'll help when you go to twist and make a braid, because what we're going to do is we're going to chill this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to twist it and make it into a braid, which I'll show you that later. But you just do this. And you have, I've got one already made up ahead of time here, and you place that on parchment paper. There you go. This is almost like making cinnamon rolls. Okay, now the trick is to put it over here. There you go, that wasn't too bad. I didn't even make too bad of a mess. Darn it, because I love to make a mess, and then I have my husband help me clean it up. There we go, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we've chilled our dough for about 30 minutes which makes it a lot easier to cut and have a nice sharp knife. And what you want to do is cut right down the middle, cut all the way through the dough, because what you'll do is you will braid it or twist it. This is a wonderful bread to have on a Sunday morning with a bowl of fruit. Yeah, you want to make sure you cut all the way through. And then we're going to put it in our Dutch oven and let it raise for, oh, I'd say 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and let it, you know, about double in size. And then we're going to bake it. And the temperature that we want to get it for for baking our, our bread is 350. And, of course, for this, you want to have more heat on the top and less on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now you pinch the ends together. And then you just kind of lay these like this and like that, and like that. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Now, if you want to, you can bake this in the oven and it's absolutely beautiful and have this nice long loaf. 
And what I like to do is kind of twist it so the chocolate part is on the top. And we're just going to put this in this Dutch oven and kind of circle it around. Looks like a snake, doesn't it? No, I shouldn't say that. We're down here in Yuma right now and the snakes are out and I do not like snakes. There we go. Oh my, this is going to be beautiful. Okay, we'll see you outside here in a few minutes and we'll get this all ready to bake. Just remember to please subscribe, leave a comment, tell your friends, and push the like button. Thank you. Wow, it turned out absolutely awesome. It took 30 minutes. We did eight on top and 10 on, excuse me, eight on the bottom, 10 on top. And you know what works really great? I don't know if you have one of these, but we have one of these instant read thermometers and we use it for everything. So what we did is we put it in here and it read at 170 at exactly 30 minutes. And I'm gonna take it out and put it here. carefully so I don't ruin it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. That is impressive. Now while it is still warm, what I'm going to do is brush it with butter. Isn't that beautiful? We sure wished you were here to help us eat this. We'll have to invite all of our friends over here shortly. Oh, and it smells wonderful. You know, with just a pinch of cayenne does not give it too much of a bite. Just a little distinctive flavor. We hope you enjoyed us today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. And, of course, we would love a comment. We hope you have a wonderful day. We'll be looking forward to seeing you next weekend. Here's to all of our viewers. Thank you for joining us today. Please join us again. We appreciate you. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.